Well, at this point in the pandemic, booster shots have become a focal point. But if you don't qualify for a booster, you've probably heard that you could be eligible for a third dose of the vaccine. So what's the difference? Well, let's start with the numbers from mid August to October 2nd. The state says more than 144,000 additional vaccines and booster doses were administered to residents. But what about the millions of other residents who want that extra layer of protection too? While well, both booster shots and additional doses have been authorized by the FDA for certain people and certain vaccines. Knowing the difference is critical. So tonight, 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is going in depth for us to clear things up. And explains which type of shot is right for you. There are many places to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Here in Detroit, the health department will come to you. Well, TCF Center here behind me continues to be a hub for administering it. That includes the booster shot, but there's also a third dose option. Experts I talk to say it's important to know the difference. Oh, I was ready for it. Audrey LaSalle Brown and her friend Gloria W. Jackson carpooled to get the COVID vaccine booster shot at TCF Center Monday. We called earlier and, and, we, and we were not allowed because they, uh, unless we had uh, some uh, underlying conditions. And so we waited. The two waited until the booster shot became available for people 65 and older. That age group qualifies for it. Also, any adult in a long-term care setting, people 50 to 64 with certain underlying medical conditions, people 18 to 49 who are at high risk with certain conditions, and people who work in occupations at high risk of exposure to COVID are all eligible for the booster, according to state and local officials. The difference between a third shot and a booster shot is related to the type of people who are taking the vaccine. The city of Detroit Health Department working to clear up any confusion over the two categories. Nursing director Dr. Iris Taylor explains the third shot, otherwise known as an additional dose. So the third shot is for that population of people who are immune compromised, who have had cancer, who have taken high doses of steroids, who've had uh, organ transplants, or are taking medications that could have a negative impact on your immune system. The other difference between the two categories, the length of time you must wait to get the extra shot. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services tweeted this infographic laying it all out. It shows the booster shot is currently limited to recipients who originally got the Pfizer vaccine. And that would be after six months from your second dose. And that's really for people who we think probably did have an adequate immune response, but after time, we have seen um, some of that immunity start to wane. The third shot or additional dose is only available via Pfizer and Moderna for the immunocompromised. After 28 days, after your first series or your first two doses. Like Dolores Williams. You know, this too many people dying, man. As for those looking to get the Moderna or Johnson & Johnson booster, or the Johnson & Johnson additional dose. We need you to just be patient. Dr. Taylor says both the Johnson & Johnson and Moderna boosters are under review. She anticipates we'll know more about Moderna within the next couple of weeks. In downtown Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, thank you. And for more information on whether or not getting a booster shot is the right choice for you, head to our website, wdxyz.com.